Hi, this is Alex, and today I'm going to walk you through this bank reconciliation. As you can see, there's three tabs down here. This is an example one where it's already filled in. Here's a blank one that I'm going to work on, and this is one that is designed so you can just print it out and um, fill it in with pen and paper if you want. Up here, like you can see on this example, enter in the company name. Bank reconciliation, and here's your bank. Just open bank of America. And month, let's just do May 2024. All right, here is your beginning balance. Um, this is where you put in the cash that you have at the beginning of the month. So you're going to want to go and look at your bank statement, see what that beginning balance is, and also make sure that you reconciled your bank account last month. And that number should be right here. So then from here, I'm just going to fill it in. Let's do 5 1. Description. Let's do rent, check number two, three, payee to the rent company. And then that would be money out. Money in is if you are getting money. Money out is if you have to spend money. Money in is way more fun. So right here, I'm just going to go in and I'm going to enter in um, money that we have spent and received this year. So I'm just going to put utilities from the util to the utility company. And then let's see, we have a customer one, they don't have a check number. Well, I mean, you could write it down. Here, instead of customer one, customer two, you could do sales income. That would, can't type today. Probably make more sense. And let's say that. So let's go all the way down here and let's say it's 5.30.24 and you have um, a check to your vendor. So we're going to go and we're going to reconcile our bank account. This one's cleared. Yep. The rent company has paid, has cashed that. Same here. You receive your money and it automatically went in there and you can see as I click these buttons, this is automatically updating. See that right there? Your money in changed. If I put no, it's going back down. And this one, I'm going to say no because this was on 530 and your vendor, you know, you mailed it on May 30th and your vendor didn't receive it by the end of the month. So they haven't re so they haven't cashed it yet. So that's going to be a no and that one will get cashed next month. Um, then down here, this is where you go. You get you get your bank statement at the end of the month, and you say how much it is. You know, hopefully it these two um, balances are the same. But if not, that tells you that you're missing something. Something, and if that happens, then you need to go sit down, take your bank statement. You know, compare it to this and see what's missing. Or you know, did you type in the wrong beginning balance? I've had that happen before. You know, or you know, a lot of times if you're off like twenty cents or you know a penny or a little bit. That just means you fat fingered something. Then when you're done, you can come over here and you can click that. You can say your name and, you know, put in your date. I did this on I don't know, June 1st, 2024. There you go. That's how that works. Thank you. Have a great day.